Ko Fen is one of the most wonderful tunes I know. It was actually written by Ken Naylor, who was taught at the Lee School in Cambridge, and Ko Fen is an area just beside that. The words to this hymn are amazing. 17th century words, how shall I sing that majesty which angels do admire? I don't think I can sing because I, I usually burst into tears, it's just so beautiful. I think it's, it's so moving to think of those who've gone ahead. But also the tune, perhaps I can uh, talk about the tune a little bit. It is a good key, it's, it shapes well. It's, it's interesting because it's in three and sometimes tunes in three don't swing along enough, but this one just sails. It also has the most wonderful uh, chords which crush together like that, which I find very moving. That appears about six, eight times, but the shape of it is so good. Um, and then, to uh, so I'll play a little bit and stop. you once again. I know what it is also, it's the use of the word sing, and we sing, 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 these beautiful words. father's heart or of the father's love begotten. Wonderful, great processional tune. Um, it's again in three, this is, but it swings along. And what is so beautiful, the, wor the words are, are fabulous. They are 5th century, but also the tune is 16th century, so it has the grace of age. Um, what a, Musically, it's what makes it so comfortable, I think, is the fact that, that it it's just moves from note to note stepwise mostly. Uh, just very occasionally it has a it moves from a one step, it misses one step on purpose, but so comfortably. And this gives it a great unanimity. pitched very comfortably in the middle it's one or two high notes but very rarely in fact just glancing it's got one high note so we're spared that <laughs> most of us but it so it's in this comfortable range but also it doesn't actually go very far Kofen journeyed from uh, really quite widely in keys or certainly within harmonic uh, language but this this tune keeps in s safe keys very beautifully very steady making 
and of course ever more and ever more makes us feel secure. Stuart Townend's um, song, hymn, How Deep the Father's Love for Us. Stuart, I've just watched him, he, the tune came quite quickly to him, first of all, and he even had to check that it wasn't taken from other people, and it wasn't. Uh, this tune is lovely, it's also in three time, but not completely, it's a three and then bars of two, so it's got a very lovely individual feel to it. And of course he places uh, the words which he worked on later, he places them within the music beautifully. So how deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, are beautifully emphasised. first line and then there's a repetition so we feel comfortable within it we're already learning the, the melody um, and then having got his second repetition with a little different end uh, he sets off <laughs> turning at the end, beautifully put together. So it's a good combination of, a, of lovely harmony, very moving harmony, um, a lovely line to sing, and it's beautifully placed again. No one's going to feel there's a high note coming up. Um, it is very comfortable. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only Son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of sinning loss, the Father turns his face away. Which one chosen one bring many sons to glory? Once in Royal David City, the great ev evocative words, of course, the Christmas beginning and Cambridge and all that is beautiful about kings, all these tie in. And uh, the, this very fine tune. Also, the words, it's very interesting, they were written by a lady who's only allowed to be known here as Mrs. C.F. Alexander. I read recently she came, I believe, from Belfast and she was a Sunday school teacher and she wanted to teach her children, her, her group, the 
the basic, uh, co what the, the content of the Christian faith. And if you think of it that way, then these words do tell you such a great deal. The beginning of Christ and then the end times, or the end beyond end times. this repetition again it treats us well the the composer treats us well nothing too much there's a simplicity and a gentleness uh, about this the mood of this music uh, and then having had the repetition of a beautiful line we're given a climactic line which settles us down again at the end very effectively Hifredol, a long-standing favourite of mine. Welsh tune, again in three time. Um, the shape is very good. It starts off, as we all know, very simply rising, falling, and then repeats itself. step beyond and back again back home then that higher note not pitched terribly high but just higher is picked up immediately for the middle section and you get that lovely two bar phrase it's called a sequence you have exactly the same one step down Then we set off in a four bar phrase. So two, two, two plus two equals four. One, two, three, four. So it stops it becoming too bitty, gets a good flow to it. Here's this note again for the next one. We're familiar with it. A little sequence, very short, of one bar, one bar each, and then a long one. Guess what? There's that higher note again, but then for the final phrase, it rises and climaxes and takes us back home again to where we 